Hey guys, Bridget here. I am here to do um, an experiment with this badminton toy. I think that's what it's called. It's a badminton game. I don't know. An outdoor game. Y'all know. I'm sure y'all know what that is. Um, we are going to just experiment with it um give me a second finish getting these gloves on i uh my plan is well take take that ball off toss that somewhere put a base coat down on this piece of wood here i have this little gemstone that you can get at the dollar store, you can get at any craft store, you can get them at Walmart. And put it down here. If this works, I'll glue it down there. And just do like a dirty pour through here, hold it, and do a dirty pour. And hopefully, like, go for like the strainer effect thing, but I'm not sure if it'll work. But I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to put a base coat now. I'm going to use black as a base coat and we're going to use one of these popsicle sticks spread it around For some reason my black seems like it's awful thick. Maybe. Okay. Cause this is such a small piece of wood here. I really don't need much paint, so I'm only using this small little paper cup here. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of black to it. Just a little. So the colors I'm using are very weird. Um, honeysuckle pink. Um, then we're going to go with the bright blue. These are all apple barrel, guys. As you all know, by now, um, apple barrel is about the only paint I've used right now. <laughs> and then, well, let's go with this crazy color. It's got king's gold. Kind of cool looking, actually. Don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to add some Velvet Crush. And we're going to add a little more colors to it. I know this is going to be more than enough. I really don't think this is going to work out in my favor. But it doesn't hurt to try and experiment. And if this works with the whole gem thing on the bottom, I'm going to um, glue it to the bottom and continue to use it. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. So, we are going to, we got my gem in the bottom. We're going to set you through here in the middle, kind of. Take those pretty colors. And just pour, I guess. Okay, guys. It is kind of working. I let go of that. I'm hoping it'll be alright. 
pick it up, do like so, leave it there. I like this. Got all these little swirls in there. All right. So I'm not going to pick up the disc itself because it's quite wet on the sides. Yes, I have gloves on, but... You know, but we're just going to go ahead and tilt some, oh, sugar. Very good. Tilt some. Tilt some. I did not use my torch yet. I probably should have as I see some bubbles. You guys, I really wish I had a smaller canvas. I would have really done it on a canvas if I had a small canvas. But I don't have a small canvas. I don't know if I like the yellow and blue. Like right like this. But I do like kind of the strainy effect. So we're just going to use the torch. Get all those air bubbles out. Help it. Okay. Now, I did not use a lot of black in this whole in the cup thing. Um, I did use the black on the, for the base, so that's probably where all the black is coming from. But I know I did not use a lot of black in the cup. You guys all seen how much black I used. But that's okay. I like how the black is popping through. Alright. I am going to pause this and bring you guys down for a uh, close-up. And we will go from there. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, this is the close-up. Um... A lot of little cells popping through. I like it, especially this little area here. I really did not, I was really hesitant on this. Um, did not think it would do any effect, but it obviously did do something. Okay, um, I'm going to end this so it's not a long video. I didn't want it to be this long as it is. Uh, so if you like this video, push that thumbs up. If you're not a, subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Um, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.